A university is not something that one simply opens, like a savings account or a jar of pickles. Any self-respecting academic... This is Campus Radio and I'm your host, Felicity Bellbottoms. Speculation continues to build over that smell in the lecture theatre. But what should you believe? Did someone really stuff a block of cheddar under one of the seats? Or is it haunted? The answer may surprise you. Staff are reminded to be inspiration.
If you don't know where your class is, is it really worth going? Time for a book review. Over to Maggie, who's been reading the memoirs of Two Point Radio's longest tenure DJ. This week, I've been reading A Life on the Waves by Ricky Hawthorne. Oh, so good. Really, really good. Because I didn't know before actually, that he spent so much time at sea. Or, well, near any water, really, and that's just super interesting. Janitor required for groundskeeping. Thank you. extension.
University gives you a bright future and clouds it with debt. Renovation of a library might sound like a good thing, but here's Hugh to tell us why it's actually quite sad. Here in Smogley, students have been looking forward to the renovation of the old campus library. The carpet is plush and the study areas are dressed with kettles and bean bags. The library is alive and bustling, but the old bookcases are left on the outside, looking in. Yes, three old bookcases stand on the lawn outside the library, a monument to a past that's now over. Spare a thought for them as you enjoy a sleek, frictionless library experience. This is a test announcement, not a real announcement. Waiter, waiter! Oh, the service here is terrible! You could go out. Or you could stay in. <sighs> With a bowl of hog logs. You've tried fine dining, but this is swine dining. Only hog log cereal combines four times of wheat with a salty crunch of crispy bog skin. Students are reminded to have the time of their lives.
expensive, and education is priceless. there we have it. It's being reported that that smell in the lecture theatre was, indeed, a large piece of cheese. We're hearing that a member of the janitorial staff was seen retrieving the putrid wedge in a hazmat suit, though this particular source has been known to exaggerate. We can only hope the smell dissipates and our community can breathe deeply and cheeselessly once again. Asked questions. No, I've not seen your frog. End of year is approaching. It's too late to start trying. just got bigger, not necessarily better.
fly in here. Students for virtual normality. 